Hey, welcome to the Sigma Post Midterm Ranger. Nice to have you, Mindy. Good to see you. Hey, Mel. D. Is that Rex trying to grump in the back? How the hell are you? Nerd? What the fuck are you doing here? Wait. You asleep? How are you asleep? Music is as loud as it can go. Hey, come on. Sit up. Dork. Can't just sleep here. <sighs> of course they're sleeping in the middle of the party. Fucking nerd. Yeah, I'm gonna get them one of the guest beds. Dylan, I'll keep an eye on them and yes, no funny business. I got it. Come on, nerd. Come here. Let me pick you up and get you somewhere quieter. Don't know if you drank anything, but you're going to have a migraine. No matter what you did, and I'm guessing you don't party a lot, so... <gasps> oh, what? Hmm. They feel so light. I told them they need to start fucking eating lunch. And breakfast. Damn it, why am I acting like I'm not part of the problem? Why the force my work on them? <sighs> Here, nerd. Get some rest. I'll go sit in the chair in the corner and just play on my phone or something. No chance I'm leaving you alone at a Sigma party. Especially when you're passed out. Yeah, it's me. You awake, Pimp Squeak? Yeah, I know you're tired, you dork. You look like you, look like you haven't slept in days. What the hell are you even doing at a Sigma frat party? Mark really wanted you to come, huh? Mm. Yeah, no way in hell I'm leaving you alone. These guys are my bros and all, but that doesn't mean I trust them alone with someone like you. Pranks would be the least of your problems. I'm sorry, what? Cuddle? Are you insane? I guess I do owe you for taking on all my coursework, yeah? Fine. Let me just lock the door real quick and I'll scrooch in. Just don't get on me for smelling like cherry bombs. Winnie spilled the schnapps everywhere trying to light her damn grill. Oh. Whoop. You almost bounced into my arms, nerd. Careful. Here. Blanket looks clean enough. Cuddle on up and enjoy me being as nice as I'm ever going to be. <sighs> Grumpy guys do not have a built in grump heater. I'm just a big guy with a lot of muscle and a massive hoodie. Of course, I'm going to be warm. There. Arms around you. Blanket is up. And I remember deodorant. Happy? Yeah, well... Good. Freaking nerd. Hey, um... I really appreciate you agreeing to do my coursework for me. I guess the professors don't really care about legitimate excuses, such as, I might have depression, I might have a whole bunch of other things, trying to focus on anything besides football is a nightmare, and so on. I know it's a lot, though, and I'm fucking worried about you. <sighs> Stupid. 
stubborn little... Why won't they let me care for them back? Am I doing it wrong? Nerd, I'm serious. You've been skipping meals. I don't see you at practice much anymore. You're gonna run yourself into the ground if you're not careful. They're so insistent on me not stressing. Of course they would be. Remember how they reacted when you admitted you might have something wrong? They practically insisted on helping me. But why? I've always been a massive dick to them. Ever since high school, but now we're... Wait, are we friends? Oh, God fucking damn it. Uh, no, sorry. I didn't mean to make you jump. Just think about our relationship. What the fuck did I just say? I, I mean, um, like, just trying to figure us out, you know? Us? N not that there isn't us, but l I... Don't know if you want a friend or a boyfriend or- Ah, oh, stop talking! <clears throat> yep. I'm good. All good. Shut up and get some sleep, nerd. You look like you need it. They look so... Cute when they sleep. Eyebrows raised. Lips a little parted. Damn. Those lips. Wait, wait. Stop that. Stop being down bad for the nerd. Are you insane? Don't do that. Don't be a fucking stereotype and catch feelings for the nerd. But I'm not. I'm catching feelings for you. As a person. Oh no. No, no, no. I can't put them through all that. Through trying to deal with me? I hate me! Me is the worst! Ugh. Why hasn't being mean chased you off? It's okay. But find someone that actually deserves them. I can take the blow. And move on. That's the best thing I can do for them. Right? It's going to be okay, sweetheart. I'm shit, but I'll do my best to take care of you until someone worthy comes along. Might, might even pick on you a little less. <laughs> nah. Can't cut our buddy time short. But I'll bring you lunch, at least. That's something, and something is enough. Thanks for caring about me, dork. Good night.